Hello everybody. I actually feel quite good that it went almost as I projected two days ago in my video where I said that Palestine will get the draw against Jordan and only the draw and Australia will take care of business. Uh, for that reason, wearing my Australia shirt that I can promise you since it's the only Asian shirt that I have and I actually I love Australia. Uh, always support them even if I'm not very convinced of them, then after every win I will wear my Australia shirt. Or I might wear it a few times. I know, to me, Australia is still not. I know they are part of the Asian Federation. To me, Australia is not uh, what I would say a classic Asian nation. But I get there are a lot of Asian uh, immigrants there and they are very much in the influence, their um, sphere of influence. So makes sense that they're there and yes uh, it's good uh, that Asia has uh, another good team that wins regularly at World Cups um, I think it, it is well for them so yeah today I'm a little bit happy about it um, about everything I said before Jordan is was already winning this group of travel ticket business two months so it ends like that not like I uh, project ahead of the tournament I think there I had Jordan actually going out in Syria, uh, being in second spot. Can't win them all. Um, the Palestine Jordan game, Jordan of course fielded many substitute players, um, chances on both sides, but no one could really connect. I think uh, there, there were a few good chances for Palestine, and a winner uh, would have actually put them in a really good position of advancing, because then they would have four points, and we already said four points guarantees you. Uh, advancing two points probably not uh, you need to hope for a lot of draws between the teams that have not uh, played against each other and I'm not sure that's gonna happen so yeah two points you're sitting in very dangerous territory and I'm thinking Palestine is more or less out with that um, Jordan uh, wins the group and yeah it will be interesting um, how they will be going on um, Australia Syria was actually um, very interesting match in the way that both really needed the win. Australia could afford a draw, uh, which would have seen them at four points and relatively saved them. Uh, and it was one of those matches, and today I even had the chance not only to watch the highlights, I actually read up on it a little bit. Um, and this was seemingly was one of the most entertaining matches of the tournament. And again, all Australian uh, strikers scoring. This seems to be a theme, and this... Uh, makes me kind of positive by the way we have a horrible storm going out there so if you hear that's that's the wind we are kind of on the mountain side and it's uh, going all over us very <laughs> it's a little bit shaking uh, outside but not here we are, we are safe uh, Australia took twice the lead Syria came twice back uh, the first lead was for uh, first goal by Australia was actually a really nice long range shot and uh, by Aver Mabil, Mabel, however you call him, um, pulled Australia in the lead after Syria already had a few chances. Uh, Syria almost immediately equalized. Um, that was in the 41st minute, in the 43rd. Omar Karbin uh, had a shot saved by the goalkeeper who actually was the hero for Australia because the, the, the Australian defense is the stuff where you are a little bit shaky. I mean, uh, going up front, you may be able to go past Tim Cahill um, with those young strikers if they remain, uh, continue to show their promise. Uh, not, not sure about the defense, um, which is a little bit un Australian. I always had the feeling that the one, th two things the Australians are good. They are solid at the back, at least for um, Asian teams, and that they are always fighting. And yeah, they kept fighting. Um, 10 minutes into the second half, uh, Chris Economides, Economides, uh, of course, Greek. <laughs> uh, heritage somewhere um, made it 2-1 uh, this was a goal that uh, was called over the line um, probably by a goal line technology uh, it was not immediately obvious that it was over the line but I trust that the technology is going well and uh, shortly after Australia uh, oh, that Syria should have had a penalty which was not given 
Siri got a penalty that was absolutely when I saw the highest I didn't see it in the high the highest the penalty should be have been given, but I read it um uh in the RT case and they all say yeah this was a concession penalty. Uh nothing more than that. I in the highlights I was really wondering, uh no, that's not a penalty. And then even the referee takes forever to call that one. To me clearly a concession penalty. Um Zero makes it 2-2 and at that point they have a chance of advancing. Um, they have also only two points now, uh, but you know, if you get the winner, you're through. Uh, I think at 2-2 they would even be in third place, so they would be ahead of Palestine. But then Australia scores a stoppage time winner. Let me get the... Uh, yeah, Tommy Rogic. The, name, the player that I've been... Yeah, Rogic, you have to get the mention of Rogic and now I don't remember. Uh, him uh, scores to win again a wide uh, long range shot. Um, I like those. I also like that uh, in both games, like Syria and Palestine, had a pretty sizable um, sound advantage. Let's put it that way from the spectators. So that one was nice to see as well. Uh, again, nothing sold out. I get it. It is hard to travel in South, in Asia and all the restrictions. It's not as open as Europe. But still, then don't build that big stadiums. In a way, it's just not good for your competition if your stadiums are not filled. I also realize that the Africa Cup of Nations frequently has the same problem. Um, I don't know, for some reason, I'm more willing to overlook it there. Uh, because I feel that those countries are poorer than uh, they are in Asia. And yeah, I would imagine that the Blue Army of Japan, they should show up in bigger numbers. Australians could show up in bigger numbers. Koreans, uh, at least South Koreans did though. And you know, everyone uh, in the Arabian world, yeah, I understand it's not easy. So let's stop it there. I don't want to <laughs> offend. <laughs> too many people it just bothers me that uh, there's there's so little um there's so little games where ever see where there's a good uh, crowd there anyway so australia is through second uh, spot uh we already said this will set them up against the second place team from group f and that also means that um they play potentially the hosts in the quarterfinals which could be a very interesting matchup Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. Um, I probably will not. I saw there are some games from France and some uh, cup games, England, uh, Spain, and so on. Probably not going to do a video on those tomorrow. Um, I wait maybe for collected uh, results uh, and make then a big video later this week. I really want to try to get a uh, first short review for the Asian Cup in. Uh, relatively soonish. I have collected the shirts, not all of them, I mean I'm relying mostly on pictures from the matches themselves, but let's see, um, I really hope I will get to that. And I will talk to you soon, bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.